Let's say we want to solve 3 sin x plus 2 cos x equals 0. And we're working with degrees, OK, between 0 and 360. Now, it's not immediately obvious as to how you could go about solving this problem. We can't factorise it, OK? Uh, we can't solve it as it is. So all that we're left able to do is to rearrange it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 2 cos x from both sides to start this off. So 3 sin x is equal to minus 2 cos x. OK? It is here where we then divide both sides by cos x or cosine of x. OK? Now, why would we do that? Well, in order to get something that we can solve, if I divide both sides by cos x, I'm going to get three lots of sin x over cos x, which is now equal to minus 2. And we know from before that sine over cos is tan x. So this is actually 3 tan x is equal to minus 2. And then you could divide both sides by 3, and you're left with having to solve tan x as minus 2 thirds between 0 and 360. Solving that will give me the solutions that I need to solve that original problem. So we're going to inverse tan both sides, OK? So we're going to get inverse tan of minus 2 thirds, this is what x is equal to. So we need to make sure our calculator is in degrees. And then inverse tan of minus 2 thirds is minus 33.7 degrees, OK, to one decimal place. Now, we're going to sketch tan between 0 and 360. Okay. So there's 360, there's 180. Okay. Now, the value that we've got is actually minus 33.7, which is off the scale. So, in actual fact, we have found this value here. So, if we draw in a horizontal line at minus one third, There is the solution that my calculator has found. That's the minus 33.7. But I want this one and that one. And that can be found by adding on amounts of the period of the function. So that distance here is 33.7. And so this distance will also be 33.7. And so will that distance there. So we can add. 180, or you can do 180 take away 33.7, whichever you like, which will get me this solution. So that is um, 100, or 180 take away 33.7, and so that's 146.3. And this one is 360 take away 33.7, or you can add 180 to this answer, gets you exactly the same thing. And that gets us, um, let me write down that bit as well, 326.3 degrees. So in actual fact, this is not one of the solutions, but because we need our solutions to be between 0 and 360. In actual fact, our two solutions are 146.3 degrees and 326.3 degrees. OK? And that they are the solutions to the original problem.